Hi all in today's tutorial we will learn how to create a heat map and density polygons uh, using point data so in this example we will be using the randomly generated accident data representing point locations where accidents have taken place in a particular area and uh, it should be noted that both the point data and the shapefile of the location are in GeoJSON format so you can download these files from the link I have provided in the description of this video. So now let's start uh, creating the heat map and the density polygon. So, so the first thing you have to do is open your QGIS and you have to drag and drop or import the uh, shape file and the point data into your QGIS. So I'm going to do it here. First of all, I'm going to choose the point data representing the uh, accident locations and then I'll be choosing the shape file of my study area and let's close it so this is it I'm going to keep the points above the shape file and in the next step you have to right click on the shape file layer and go to properties and from here you need to remove the fill color of the shape file and you only need the uh, outline of your area so this is it if you observe you can see that uh, in this area the number of accidents are higher compared to other regions so in the next step we will create heat map and before that in order to create heat map you have to download a plugin called uh, density analysis and if you are not having it already you go to search density analysis the same one and you can just click install plugin and it's going to take uh, a while and it's done here we go you can now close it and the different uh, options offered by this particular plugin you can see here like density map uh, and graduate style and pseudo color so and so forth so from these set of icons you have to choose this styled heat map option and click it so here we are going to do the kernel density estimation for creating our heat map and also for creating the uh, density polygons first of all you need to provide an input point layer which is going to be the accident layer and here you have to specify the cell size so my pixel size is going to be 0 0.1 which will provide higher resolution and the radius uh, is going to be 4.5 kilometer so the radius the kernel radius represents the uh, influence of these points uh, to the surrounding area so a particular point will be having an influence up to 4.5 kilometer uh, around it so i'm not getting into the details so now let's move on to uh, the color ramp so a lot of different color ramps are available you can choose whichever you want and you can also invert the color ramp if you want but i'm going to keep it default in the ruts and if you go further down you can see the interpolation it's going to be linear and this mode is going to be continuous in our case and you just click run and wait okay now our uh, heat map has been created you can remove the points and you just keep the shape file above the heat map layer and that's it you can see the in this particular location as we predicted earlier that the number of accidents are high or uh, the color the color is darker in this area and towards this direction the number of accidents are very uh, less and in the second step we will create a density polygons in a similar way for that you can go to the same option again styled heat map and here you repeat the same process I like choose the point layer and specify the pixel size then the radius is going to be 4.5 kilometer and if you scroll further down you can see here you need to make a small change your interpolation method is going to be discrete 
and your mode is going to be continuous and you click run and close it here it goes so this is these are the density polygons uh, representing the you know these are polygons having a uh, different values so this is it so now we have created both a heat map and density polygons and i'll quickly show you how you can make a map using this you go to uh, new print layout option and click ok and here you just draw your map here using this option i did it uh, add map option and here you can add the legends so i'm going to add here so there are uh, there are so many unwanted legends so uh, you can manually remove uh, those things by unchecking go to go to the legend items and uncheck the auto update option and select all these unwanted layers and remove so it's gone now you need to change the names of heat map into something like a uh, accident density okay that's it then you don't need this band one gray here so remove it uh, backspace and press space so that it will disappear and you can go back and and if you want to remove these values like minimum and maximum densities you can double click on the uh, option and you will find an uh, under the under labels you can find minimum and maximum so you just need to put low in the minimum and high in the maximum which will indicate low density and high density of accidents and it has become visible there so you can keep the legend uh, somewhere at the bottom here okay now you can if you want you can you know change the size of the square containing the legend and I'm doing it now okay done so that's it we have now created the uh, density polygon map of accidents and similarly you can also do the heat map so thanks for watching do subscribe the channel and see you in the next tutorial